Hello, hello! Hello, dear dancers! So nice to see you here! How are you doing? I hope you are well. The weather in London is absolutely miserable. It's raining, it's gray, and we are so lucky that we actually are dancers. I would like to introduce myself, just in case, if you don't know. My name is Natalia Kremen, and I'm a former ballerina with English National Ballet and Moscow Stanislavski Theater. I hope you are well, staying healthy and positive. So today we're doing all about your feet. I hope you are prepared and ready to go. Just before we start, can you please put in the chat downstairs, just there in the comment, where are you from? Where are you at the moment? Are you in London? Are you in England? Are you in Russia? Are you in States? Which country are you from? Which city are you from? Don't put your address. I don't want to know too many details. Nice, nice, nice. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. Wonderful. Oh my gosh, so many comments. Yes. Hello, hello, hello. Scotland. Fantastic. Hello, Scotland. Hello, California. Hello, France. Oh, I love it. I love it. So many. Canada. Not a single same place. Florida. Amazing. Hello. Hello, Malaysia. Florida. Incredible. Scotland. Hello, Georgia. I know you, Georgia. Hello, hello. Morrison, Canada, Italy. How amazing. Don't you think we are so lucky that we are as a dancers? We actually, okay, we are in a lockdown. Yes, I have my Bali bar set up next to my kitchen and it's not as easy as it used to be. It's not as glamorous. It's not as comfortable, but we can carry on working and doing what we love the most. And Bali, actually, that's the thing that should help us to carry on. It should help us not to give up. And you being a dancer, I'm sure you already had many challenges in your life. So it's made you tougher, it made you stronger than almost anyone else. Maybe you're even stronger than your parents. Let me just see. Italy, oh wonderful. Czech Republic, Mexico, Switzerland, Thailand, oh I'm loving it. Iran, Panama, England. <gasps> Incredible. Wonderful, wonderful. Bulgaria, hello Bulgaria, Brazil, Morocco, Italy, Canada, Morrison, Scotland. Oh, so nice, so nice. Texas, I don't even have time. Hello, hello everyone. And of course, we are on a Grishko channel. And I had a, always a very special and fond feelings of the Grishko company. I'm a Russian dancer. And Grishko were the shoes that I was wearing the most of my career. And an absolutely incredible company producing fantastic products for dancers. And it's all handmade. I've been many times in a, actually in the manufacturing and I have seen how all the shoes are made. I have met so many different incredible masters who are hand sewing every single shoe. And we are so lucky to be able to. You can't buy handmade shoe nowadays unless you go to Jimmy Choo, maybe to Gucci, and still it would be very often manufacturer made. Grishko are fantastic. And I would like to mention that I'm a founder of Natalia Kremen Bali School. We also, I'm a trustee of MK Bali Foundation, so please don't forget to look at our page. And uh, we will be launching together with my partner, Maya Maki, a very special course about the fit. I will talk about that later. But at the moment, let's dive in. I have my little notepad with the notes, which I made. We're starting with a warm up. Hello, hello, привет, привет. Oh, nice, nice, nice. So many languages, international, amazing. Okay, let's go. I will share with you a couple of my tips. Being a professional dance students, I started at the Bolshoi Academy at the age of 10. And I have to say, I was very fortunate by my parents that they gave me a good and very flexible fit. So I was lucky, but actually that was my biggest challenge throughout my life. Why? Because they are very flexible. It looked quite pretty, I have to admit, but they were always so weak. I always had to spend extra time working on them, strengthening it, and it's not easy. And now being a teacher and director of the school, I see usually two types of students. Those who've been fortunate to have very high arches, 
but then they struggle to hop on shoes, for example, for many, many years. Even when I was joining the company, I was struggling to hop because my ankles were still quite weak, which has helped me actually to develop a very special program, which initially I tested on myself, and then later on I, I gave it to my students to pass. And another types of students or dancers are who might not have a very high arch and actually would like to do exercises to help them to stretch it and to extend so it's look more bendy. Let's start with a warm up. We will be starting by the bar or whatever you can find at home. It would be chair, table, anything would work. We will go up in sixth position. You can be facing the bar as well, but I will be facing you so you can see me well. And we'll start. Demi and Demi. And Demi and Demi. And Demi. Demi, Demi and point. Plie. You can leave your arm in first or you can bring it down. Plie. Releve. Plie. Releve. Plie. Releve. Now you can still face the camera if you want. So you can see we're going to go on a Demi Plie but continue staying on demi points. And we will go a little bit over, and now we will go, we'll keep our heels still. We will go a little bit over for this nice high demi points, and then we'll keep it still. And then we go a little bit over, and keep it nice and still. And one more time, a little bit over, and keep it nice and still. One at a time, and one, and two, and three, and four and five, and six, and seven, and eight. Plie, releve, plie, four times, releve, plie, releve, plie, releve. Very important that your as a dancers and as a students can really achieve this high demi point position. So we're not all the way down. Yes, we're trying to bring it all the way up. And that's why there is a series of exercises you can do to help you and create this high releve. It will be so much easier for you to turn because your body will be right on top of this foot. If it's lower, as you can see now, that my weight is actually over my heel and not over my toes. And I want it to go straight down. So the higher you're having your demi point, the easier it will be for you to stretch in the future. Let's do the next warm up. First position, you can keep your arm braba. And we will do tangju, and demi, and demi, and demi. Demi point press. Lean over, very high demi points. Point at foot, and close first. And we'll go sideways, and tangju, and demi, and demi, and demi. Demi point press. Lean over, gently, gently, be careful because your foot can be not very stable at the moment. And close. Let's go back. And point. And demi. And demi. And demi. Press. Lean over. Your front leg stays straight. Remaining straight. And point. And close. And last time we'll go sideways. And point. Demi. And demi. And demi. Demi point. Let's go over. Foot. And down. Be careful when you're doing the leaning sideways to keeping your demi point little, just a tiny bit, just an inch over your big toe. Never on a little toe. We want to avoid having this position. First, it's not pretty, but most importantly, it's dangerous. You can actually twist your ankle. You would rarely twist it this way to go towards the big toe as this side is stronger, but very easy to twist this way. We want to strengthen the feet so when you go, you press on your big toe a little bit more and stretch. You can, tr let's try with the other foot. Tangju, and demi. Imagine it's like a pussycat, you're trying to lift, lift something with your very strong toes off the floor. So we go point, and demi, and demi, and demi. Press, lean over, tangju, and close. And side, and demi, and demi, and demi, press, lean over carefully, keep an eye on the shape of the leg so it's not sickled, and point, and close, and back, and demi. Ooh, let me move a little bit forward. I hope you can see the leg, 
and Amy, and Amy, and press, lean over, and point, and close, and last one sideways, and point, and Amy, and Amy, and Amy, Amy point, lean over, point foot, and close. Good, very nice, well done. How are you doing? Good, 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 good. So nice to see you all here. Hello, 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 everyone. Hello, hello, who just joining? Wonderful. Let's move on. What we're doing next? We're sitting down. I'm gonna take my notes. And again, those notes I've been writing down for many, many, many years. Studying and dancing in Moscow gave me a very special experience and gave me an amazing foundation and then performing with English and National Ballet and around the world in many different gala concerts, I actually managed to learn and get inspired by different techniques from around the world. Cuban system with the wonderful Loipa Araujo and so many amazing teachers. I've been very fortunate to meet them. And then I was putting together all these things that were helping me as a dancer. And later on, now it's already almost 10 years with my academy, with the school, I'm helping young students, like some of you, to achieve their dreams. And it's not easy because we're all different. That's why it's not easy. So finding the right approach to each of your personality and your body type, it's not easy. It takes time. It takes time, lots of experience. Let's move on. We're starting with the next feet warm up. Sitting nice and tall, shoulders relaxed. Flex your feet such a way, you can do even this exercise at home, just lifting your heels, stretching the knees and lifting the heels. And we go, demi point, point, demi point flex. Keep an eye on your toes to make sure there is a, almost like a little gap between your toes. Demi, and point, and demi, and flex. Simple, warm up, yeah, pa, pa. Now swap, and swap. One at a time, be careful, make sure this foot is not sickled, keep it nice and straight and strong. We're trying to reach the floor, but the heel is still not touching the floor. You see, now I relax my foot, it's touching. No, lift it up and point, and point, and point, and point, and we're flexing. We're opening feet, pointing, and close, and lift, and open, and point, and close, and lift, and point, and close, and lift open point and close let's go up there away and close point out wait let's do it. one two three and four one two i wish i could see you what are you doing with me i wish i could give you some corrections i'm absolutely loving it instagram is wonderful it can bring so many people together but it's a shame i can't see your videos and help you to improve it but Try to listen carefully to the correction and you can do it well. Let's move on. We're doing next stretch with a TheraBand. I think the most of you as a dancers and as a professional students or even not, you have a TheraBand. We are wrapping our toes. Today, I will be doing two feet. This is actually a very light one. I'm gonna take this one. I have a selection of about 100 different TheraBands. For different occasions, different days. Good. We crossed our TheraBand. I hope you can see it well. Maybe I'll sit a little bit diagonally so you can see better. Good. And let's go. We go Demi. And now we're pointing. Now, what is very important, try not to crunch your toes. I know you're trying to point them so hard. But what you want to achieve, and this is something I have learned only when I arrived in England, which was quite a few years back and it was a big surprise because initially I always try to point my foot and really bend my toes and go as low as possible but in England I learned that to have a very strong feet and that's what I was really needing actually and uh, at that time I was dancing in the Grishko shoes I was wearing Triumph I'm not sure if there is Triumph still exists in Grishko I don't know so we go demi point and then when you point in your foot keep your toes nice and long imagine you holding you staying still inside the point shoes 
So let's do it. Terra bun wrap. We're not gonna crunch the toast now. And let's go. Demi point, point, demi point. Gently flex, never snap, very slowly. Demi point, my heel still off the floor. Demi point and flex. And demi point, long toes, point. It will strengthen your feet more rather than bending them all the way down. Demi point, point, demi point, and flex. Let's do four more times. Demi point, point, demi point, flex, demi point, point, demi point, flex. Very nice, very nice, well done. Relax your legs, shake it a little bit. Good. We will do the next stretch, what I usually do before each class. And when I was performing, it would be a routine exercise. Especially, it's very useful for those da young dancers who want to improve their feet and stretch them. So you have more extensive and higher arch. For this exercise, it's very important that before you sit on your feet, you can look back and check. Is is your legs, are your legs together? Are your heels touching each other? If they're slightly not, it's not good. No, 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 no. We bring them back. Good. I'm going to sit diagonally so maybe you can see better. I'm sitting down on my hips and I'm checking on my heels. I'm checking, is my heels still tied together? Very, very close. And now I'm going to lift my feet up. So I'm going to do it on fast so you can see. I will try to demonstrate this is the way you should never do it. If, you, if your heels still not together, go down, regather. You can check with your arms. Is your heels together? Yes, they are. Good. And keep them very, very strong. And now you lean back. And we're holding for maybe 10 seconds. Maybe then you can extend to 20, 30, and up to one minute. No more than this. One, two, three, four, five. You should feel the stretch. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And release. Another big mistake that you could do, and I would like to warn you to prevent it, is rather than really stretching your foot down, you could grip and sit on your toes. Very, very dangerous as well. And for me, it's very important that the dancers are healthy and injury free and believe me it's possible if you work in a smart clever way if you do the safe exercises that been advised for you and for your types of body then it's it shouldn't be any you shouldn't have ever any injuries so check the foot is nice and straight if your heels not together what it will cause it means your foot will be sickled we don't like sickle feet no 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 so heels together a little bit more on a big toe and don't grip your toes. Let's do it one more time. We're sitting back. I'm checking if my heels together, feet pointed, and I lean. Another option, you can keep your arms slightly at the front, and you can sit here. It's a little bit more strength on your abs, which also a good bonus, you can work on your abs. So you can choose which one works the best for you. And we hold one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Nice, you can lie down. Stretch your back. Good, 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 good. Release your feet. Do you feel it stretched? You should feel it in your arch, a little bit more than in your toes. Shake, 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 shake your legs. Do little demi point, point. Maybe you hear any little cracklings in your joint. It's normal. Dancers are often <laughs> having some funny noises in their joints because of the mobility. Good. Next exercise, we're going to do over the block. If you have a block, wonderful. If you don't have a block, find a book. I'm going to show you how to do it. Or something that would maybe a couple of books. So what we're going to do, I'm going to show you with my left foot. Maybe you will see better. I'm oh, not sure. Let me lower my camera so you can definitely see everything. Hello, hello. Yes, yes, yes. Nice to see you. Bonjour. Amazing. So many different nationalities. 
Isn't it? Isn't it incredible? Isn't it? Why we doing dance? So it brings together so many people, so many nations, and then nothing is important. Not the cultures, the nationalities, the language. It's it unites everyone. I'm loving it. What I'm doing. I'm so lucky. And you are so lucky that you are doing what you love the most in your life. So we're wrapping the foot. And then I have extremely long theraband, but it's good for some other stretchings in a class. Now I'm putting my block in the front of me and I'm going to put it between, between my foot and the block. Oh, carefully. We're going to do it slowly. I pull, 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 pull. Make sure it's together. It's not separated. Yes, your two therabands are together. Two sides of it. The whole foot is, you can use stronger theraband if you feel all lighter. And then the knee is still bended. So you will feel extended stretch already. Sit a little bit back. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna stretch the knee. And we're gonna release. And we're gonna stretch the knee. And we're gonna release. So ideally, you start with a bended knee and your toes are almost touching the floor. Another option, I will show you with a little bit stronger theraband. Wrap, not the whole foot, make sure your toes are wrapped. Toes are wrapped and mid foot is wrapped. Then I usually cross it a couple of times. Place your block. Take it, put between under your heel, just directly under the heel. Bring it on the floor. Good, good, good. So that your knee is still bended. Really pull. Pull, 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 and now we're sitting back and we're starting to stretch the knee and release. Ah, you see, I'm not doing it correctly because you might see that my toes are a little bit sticking out. I need to redo it. It's very important that the toes are wrapped. Okay. Cross a couple of times. Take the block. Put it under the heel. Good, good, good. Maybe I'll sit sideways so you can see it, how I'm doing it. I hope this is gonna be a better way for you. Nice, and then, and then I'm stretching my arch. I'm stretching my knee all the way. And you can see the toes are bending all the way down to the floor. Very nice stretch, very deep stretch. You have to do it very carefully. And not too many times because it can start after a while hurting your heel. If you feel the pain in your heel, relax, stretch. Do a couple of circles and then try again. And then, or next day, release. Stretch, stretch, stretch. Another good stretch you're also doing for your knee to have a beautifully stretched knee. And release, one more time. And stretch, and release. And stretch, and release. And stretch, and release. And stretch all the way, all the way, the foot stretching, pull, 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 closer. Stretch this knee down and release. Oh la la, that's so nice. Gently release. What I would advise you after this exercise to stretch, you grab with your foot, you bend your toes up, and you give a nice stretch. Well, uh, we'll do one more, we will do a couple of strengthening exercises. And then I'm showing you, I will show you how to stretch your feet and your calves. Very good stretch, I know. Nice, 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 nice. You can bend your toes all the way up, really releasing this tension. As I mentioned before to you already, myself and my partner, who is my former student, incredible girl, very, very talented and smart, studying also at the Bolshoi Academy before she came to London. We created an online body academy. Please check this out. Go on Instagram, online body academy. Very easy to remember. And our first course, and it will be all about fit. It will be structured course for two weeks, which will help you to get your dream fit that you always wanted. Strong, beautiful, good. Now, release. Very quickly, let's do other leg. Maybe I'll do the light theraband for now. For those who are just at the beginning, so you don't want to put too much pressure, we're wrapping. Oh, I'm sorry, you might hear a little bit of snoring. It's my cookie, my dog. Cookie, stop snoring, please. 
Wrap, wrap, wrap. Wrap your feet. Put the block underneath. Nice. And then you stretch. I wish I could see you doing that together with me. And maybe a little bit further away, I'm gonna extend. And then I'm stretching my knee all the way down to the floor. You don't need, for even for this program, which we created and what all the exercises I'm doing, you don't need any feet stretch, believe me. And stretch. Theraband block, and for some exercises, a small fitness ball. And stretch, and release. And stretch all the way, and release, really? Really pull. If you're starting to feel a cramp, you can flex your feet to relax for a second. And then you're gonna stretch again and let's do three more times. And stretch, release, and stretch. Pull, 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 pull the therabund. Be careful so it doesn't snap. And last one, stretch, and release. Good. Release, put it away. Nice, little stretch. Stretch, 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 stretch. Good. Yes, you can do little gentle circles, just to warm up, to mobilize your foot gently. Good. Yes. I'm sure if you've been doing it together with me, you feel that your feet are more supple now and more warm up. They are ready for a bar. We're not gonna do the bar today as we're only doing the exercises for a feet, how to stretch it and to strengthen it. So I showed you two stretching exercises now let's strengthen it. We're going back in a sitting position. Open your arms to the side. Very, very long neck. Engage your arms. Open the feet. Flex your heel. Flex your feet. Leave the heels off the floor. Pull up. And we're doing slowly. Down, do. And flex. And point. And close. And point. Coup de pied. Développe. Left leg. And the day and the point coup de pied rotate and down and repeat and go slowly and the point coup de pied and point stay slowly release and point through the foot very slow go gently don't snap and flex point Release, one more. Then, and flex, and point. Turn out, check that your heel is off the floor. Do you remember like we did it? Don't sickle, don't collapse your heel on the leg. Pull, 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 and this heel is off the floor. Can you see there is a little gap? Point, open, release, point. Demi, point, ah, sorry, point, flex, point, Demi, Point, stay, 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 slowly release. Good, 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 good. You can stretch your demi points. Nice. Next exercise, I would ask you again, either you can do it with a ball, small fitness ball, or a block. If you don't have either, you can do without it as well. Don't worry. But very useful to have a block in general in ballet. So I'm gonna lift my camera a little bit up because we are sitting up now. Standing up, good. We're gonna place either the ball I'm gonna use today, and if you're joining our two weeks fit program, you will see that we have a, every day, you will be receiving different set of exercises, which will help you and guide you through how to, during these two weeks, to extend your, heart, your arch, and also how to strengthen your feet. Let's put our block between our ankles. Good, feet in parallel position, please, 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 don't open, I know you love first position, don't open your feet, keep it nice and parallel. And we go up, and we go down. Squeeze, if you have a little ball, it's wonderful, continue squeezing, plus it's good help for your inner thighs. And up, and down, and up, and down. And now we go up, and we're pleading on our demi points, and up. And we plie and we squeeze the block and release. And we squeeze the block and release. Challenge yourself if you want and do it without the bar and release. Really stretch your knees, maximum. On high demi points, plie and release. And plie and release. And plie and release. 
and plie and release. You can try it without, it's, it's also good, but I feel it's always nice to have something and uh, because you are applying extra pressure by squeezing and that's what we want. We want our foot to feel that it should be straight, not sickled. And sometimes when we are just without holding anything, occasionally feet can start wobbling. While if you hold the ball or if you squeeze the block, they constantly, constantly feeling this pressure. They're squeezing all the time, which means they're working twice harder. Good, good, good. Well done. Now, it's been scientifically proven that the dancers at any age, well, any age, I would say from professional age. So starting from the age of 11, should start doing calf rises every single day, starting from 10 and ideally increasing up to the 30 times. So 30 times on each foot. Let's do a couple of times and I'm gonna take it a little bit further. What I'm going to do now, I'm going to stand on a block and I'm gonna drop my heel down. Good, first of all, it's a fantastic stretch and you can try to stay there, relax, and it's stretching your Achilles and the back of your leg. Why it's important? You want to have a long Achilles. There is so many bones, there is so many muscles in our feet, you can't imagine. And it's very important part of the body. It's like a hands for a pianist. You have to look after your feet like nothing else. So Achilles are responsible for your landings and jumps. To prevent any injuries, you need to have a very good plie. And to have a very good plie, you need to stretch your Achilles. So the longer you have your Achilles, more likely you can prevent injuries. If you have short Achilles, work, work, work harder to stretch it. So you can do plie, relax, relax your, your ankle. Maybe you want to shuffle a little bit further back and stretch the knee. And again, stay, stay there, try to feel, try not to bounce. Bouncing is not as good. Just gently holding position and relaxing. So the heel is dropping gently down to the floor. Good, relax now. And now we're gonna do rises. And we're gonna cup right up and slowly control down. All the way, you see? And why it's good to go on a block? Because my heel is dropping more than usual, which will give me more ability to go up. While well, from here, I will be just doing that. From here, I'm gonna go all from the all the way down, so the angle is much bigger. Let's go. Engage your glute, very important. And up, and slowly down. Engage the glute up, and slowly down. And all the way up, and slowly down. All the way up and slowly down and up and slowly down very very nice try other leg one second let me check my computer i don't want to run out of battery it's look like something is okay one second one second i'm with you Hang on there, I'm back, one second. Good, let's move on, other leg. Little stretch, little stretch. I'm back, I'm back, hello, hello, if you're just joining. Stretch, 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 oh, that's very nice stretch. You might even feel the stretch in your knee, which means most likely your calf muscle or your thigh is tight. So relax, 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 relax. Good. And let's do four calf stretches. And slowly up and release. Engage your glute. And up and slowly down. And up and slowly down. And up and slowly down. Release, release, release. Stretch. Good, 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 good. You can stretch your knee back. Very nice, well done. Let's move on. I will be showing you how to cool down your feet. One more very good stretch. If you have a, uh, 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 
I'm thinking if you have a wall, you, you can stand by the wall or you can see it. So ideally, I'm thinking, how do I do it? I'm gonna do it by the bar. So I'm gonna place my leg next to the bar and I'm gonna use the block. And then I'm gonna grab the bar and stretch my knee back. Make sure the knee is completely stretched and now let your heel drop as low as possible and you will feel extended stretch in your leg. Stretch, 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 stretch. relax your hip and bend it up again. And let's do one more and stretch. Good, and release. Good. Let's try other side. Place your foot on the block. You can do it next to the wall. Try to do it next to the wall. And then you stretch. Stretch, stretch, stretch the knee. Good, keep your hips nice and square. And now drop your heel all the way like you're wrapping your, your foot around the bar from the underneath. Very nice. Good, good, good. Well done. Release, we're gonna release the block. Let's do a little fondue exercise. Take either fifth position or you can do it first. What you feel more familiar with, up, opening arm. And we're gonna do demi plie and close. And now on the coup de pied and close. And now fondue, we're gonna stay on demi, on the flat. Foot, down, du, and very slowly through your foot, closing feet. And again, and the demi, and close. Coup de pied, through the foot coming down, and close. Fong du, side, down, du, close fifth. Demi, and close. Fong du, Toes at the back, active, active toes, and close. Fondue, and back. Demi, release, last time to the side. Demi, all the way, close. Fondue, and close. Fondue, open side, with a foot, and release. Let's do other way. I'm going to change my bar to the other side. Let's do other leg. Prepare, fifth position. Five, six, seven, and eight. And the demi, go all the way, all the way, all the way. And the stretch. Fondue, active foot. Even try to make noise with the foot, but don't cross. Look down, make sure your toes right in the middle of your foot. And close. Breathe. Down. And close. And demi. And close. And close. Breathe. Down. And close. Demi. And close. Fondue and close. Fondue back. Demi point. Demi and close. Fondue and close. Last one. Demi. Present, present, present your foot. Down you and very slowly roll through the demi and closing into the fifth. Well done. Well done, well done. I hope you enjoyed the class. Very quickly before we finish, if you have something to ask, if you have a little questions about something you, you want to improve up related to the feet, you can put it in the chat box. I hope you enjoyed the class. Keep an eye, please. Uh, don't forget to follow and share the stories. Follow the Grishko World, incredible company. Fantastic quality, I would say one of the best in the world. But every dancer is looking throughout their career for what works the best for them because we're all so different. So you have to find which 
shoes will work the best for you. Which model, even myself, I changed different models throughout my career because my feet were developing, they were getting stronger, or maybe I was recovering after injury. Another very interesting point, I can see some of you asking some questions, but only English, please, or Russian. I'm sorry, I don't speak many other languages. What I wanted to tell you that when I arrived in England, unfortunately, I couldn't get the shoes, Grishko shoes that I wanted, that I wore, wore for many years back in Russia. And because shoes are provided to the dancers from the company and uh, I couldn't get the model. So I had to try and different models, different brands. I tried it for about almost a year, swapping from one brand to another brand, from one brand, trying to find if there's anything else that would work for me because I couldn't get the shoes for some reason. They couldn't deliver, they couldn't find. I don't know why it was a little bit and uh, they, they couldn't connect with the Grishko in Russia at that time. So I tried different things and in the end, it cost me an injury. I had an injury. I had a split tendon, which I decided to go back to Russia. I had a surgery there at the, with a fantastic doctor. And actually I recovered in a couple of months. I was very, very fortunate, absolute genius, true master and uh, incredible doctor. And I was very lucky because I know some dancers recovering for a very long time with a similar injuries, but be careful when you're trying different brands or shoes. I would always suggest to stick with one and at least try it for longer. Or maybe you wore it in one class and you feel it's not right. Okay, change it straight away. But if you're changing your shoes too often, it can be dangerous. Bec why? Because your foot getting used to the different feel. Different, sometimes the different chunks, sometimes the different width of the, of the base, sometimes the cut, sometimes the, the width of the shoe itself. So many details, it's incredible. It's a true, uh, it's like a jewelry making, the, the point shoes making art. It's, it's a true art. So try to find the shoes that works and, and uh, maybe you're already dancing on points. Maybe it's Grishko already, which are fantastic. But if not, try to stick with one brand. And I would never advise to wear too wide point shoes. I have seen too narrow, it's not good. You're gonna have problems with your bunions. But if it's too wide, your foot is gonna sink down and you actually, it can create you even more problems. It wouldn't support your foot because the foot, the shoe should snuggle your foot very, very tightly. Okay, let me quickly have a look. How to improve my point work for beginners? Exercises, strengthening, 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 and strengthening. Once you feel, if you, another very good exercise, I'm gonna show you to demonstrate, which is actually for me quite challenging to do because of the high instep. But if you're at the beginning, try to go on very high demi points, almost the points. Imagine you're going on actually on points without really, no, it's not like a jump. Yeah, so you go very slowly, you're rising yourself all the way up with the straight toes and slowly down. And then again, all the way up and down. And then you will see, is your toes strong? That's why I was telling you, do many exercises with the straight toes, not bending toes. Bending is good, yes, all of this. All of this is very good for your metatarsals. But one, when you're pointing feet, try to keep your toes long. Just a couple of more questions. I want to help more of you. Does you have any feet on strengthening your knees so that your heels, uh, so that your heels come off the floor? Well, straight, ah, strengthening, straightening. Yeah, 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 I can see. Yes, you can do this. The one, actually, the one I showed you. I showed you already today in a class with a TheraBand. Yes, you wrap your foot and then you really press, you press with the energy. You don't, another very important point dancers. Our knee is one of the most gentle part of our body. Never touch your knee, never move your knee up. It's very mobile, very easy to have an injury. And actually very sadly, I had a knee injury in my life. So I had to spend so much time strengthening it, especially after. Before I thought it's like, oh yes, my teachers always told me, make sure your toes and the knees always in the one direction. And one day I was just too tired. I didn't pay attention and my knee ended up on the side. 
So very important to strengthen your knee. And of course, you want to have a little bit of hyperextension, just a slight, not too much. So you can do it from stretching gently from the block. Put two feet on the block and gentle stretch. Don't touch your knees. You can touch either below or on top. Gently press. You can flex your feet and do that. And you will feel, you, you're gonna feel the stretch in your inner thighs. One more, one more, one more. Okay, let me see. I wish I could answer all your questions. Oh, so helpful, those exercises. Wonderful, so happy to see it. Oh, can't wait for the online class. Me too, me too, me too. It's coming live very, very soon. You would be able to access. Keep an eye on the online ballet academy and our school as well. How to, what's the best? Okay, the video for turnout. Turnout, turnout. Different parts of the turnout. You have to remember, turnout is happening not in your feet, not in your knees, it's the whole leg. So always remember, whenever, whatever you're doing to turn out your legs, imagine, try to find the image of skeleton. Skeleton is hanging. The hip, the hip joints are all the way up there. Everything that moves inside, it's not your hip. You can't turn out your hip. When you hear a teacher saying, turn out your hips, turn out, you can't turn out your hips, they're just there, they're stable. You can't turn out. You can rotate the leg from the top of the, from the top to the bottom. So whatever exercises you do, try to rotate. Even this simple exercise like that. With the muscles. One thing, it's, you need to combine stretching and strengthening. Even if you're in a perfect frog, I have seen in many students, sometimes incredible flexibility, all the splits and over splits, incredible frogs, everything is open. But as soon as they lift the legs to the side, it goes diagonally and like this. Again, it's strengthening, strength, 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 strengthening and stretching. So you can rotate from the top of your leg. That was inspirational. So glad to hear you. Video for a turnout. Maybe. Let's see. Let's see. Mm, the sun is coming out. Okay. All right. Nice. How to get higher extension. Try this exercise over the block and I will be uploading. You will find it also in our two weeks course because in the end of the day dancers you don't want to have a tricks you want to have proper stuff you want to have something that would work for you long term yes very very hard to fit everything just in a one online class I wish I could answer all your questions but we are so unique as the dancers and it's so complex what we are doing and I want you to do it on a professional level Make sure, I know there is huge amount of online classes now with the dancers, which are so inspirational. Try to find, to make sure that apart from getting inspired, you do the proper stuff. Very serious training, very important. Plus, it will help you to prevent injuries. Do you have a tips? Yes, okay, I think only to coming off a little bit. It's okay, even if it's coming off, um, even if it's coming off Sydney, even if coming off a little bit, it's all right. You need to start somewhere. Just start there and it's going to get better and better and better. Heels off the floor. Yes, I know. The same thing. Okay. Any tips how to get heels off the floor more when you sit down? The same thing. Just keep it there. How to get hyperextension. Yes. Gently, gently stretching. Sandwich on top of the couple of books. Turn out. Let me see. How can I help sore muscles? Uh, sore muscles, I have a very good answer for you. Just hang on there, I'm gonna show you. It's in my bathroom, always. Sore muscles, Epsom salt. Try to get Epsom salt and take us, when you feel tired, and as I said before, being a student, I had many, many nights with the very achy legs. I sometimes I couldn't even sleep. My father had to massage my legs throughout all night because I had a very long legs, very long muscles, but not much strength. So whenever I would start doing strengthening exercises, my legs would really ache. Plus I was growing. So the bones were catching up with the muscles and everything together. So it was not easy. Little bath. With the, or just a feed bath with the Epsom salt is fantastic. Or if you don't have this, 
any relaxing soap. Not too long. Another very good tip for rela to relax your sore muscles, it's a contrast shower over your legs for five minutes. 10 seconds hot water, 10 seconds cold water. Go quite cold and quite hot, but be careful, don't burn yourself, neither with cold or hot water. Let me just quickly look if we have something. Oh my gosh, so many. I wish I could help you all. Uh, I just can't get my middle split and my turnout is also so bad. Slowly, slowly, Alexandra, don't worry. You're not gonna get there in a one day. You, there is not a magic pill. The magic is hard work, smart work. So if you try too hard and too much, you can tear your muscles and it can slow down your progress. Slowly and over, you know, and we're all different. For me, parallel split was always so, so difficult. I, despite that, I could lift my legs very high to the side. Alice gone was not a problem for me, but doing the parallel split or over split or was a true torture. Right, left, easy, no problem. From a, from a chair, from anywhere. Parallel, we, we're all different. You see our hip structured in a different way. Isn't it late to start at 18 years old? Never too late, never too late, depending what you want to do. Classical ballet, again, the, it's like a professional sportsman, the career is quite short. So imagine if you start at 18, you take uh, at least four or five years of your career. So you would need to be auditioning to the company of 20, uh, 25, 26, which might be challenging, but depending what you want to do, never discourage yourself from dancing and taking classes. You're doing it for yourself. There is nothing better in life than doing what you love the most. Believe me. How can you improve your adagio? Practice, 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 Eloise. Lots of hard work. Do it on the floor. Floor bar is very good. Thank you so much. What are the tips for the for your uncles rolling up? Ankles rolling in, ankles rolling in. Mm. There is, there is a, there is actually, it's quite complex exercise. I'm, I'm afraid I won't have time now because I know we, we have to be finished in just a couple of minutes. And uh, what you can do is gently standing, like I showed you, you go forward for rolling, rolling, yes, and for strengthening the ankles, parallel position. It's the last exercise I can show you today, I'm afraid. Demi point, lean forward, and so make sure your weight, look, your weight is on the front foot, and not small demi point, otherwise it's not gonna work. You have to go all the way up. So you're going all the way up on this demi point, and you start very gentle small circles with your weight more on the front foot. If you're on the back foot, it's not gonna do anything. It's just gonna warm up your leg, but it's not gonna strengthen it. You want strengthen, you lean forward, and you roll, and you roll. You can try to do it without arms, which is gonna be even more challenging, but it's gonna give you more strength. And roll other direction, and other direction. Very slowly and gently. I hope it will help. Let, us, let me know how you're doing. Please text me later on. Try those exercises and let me know how you're getting on with it what you find useful, what you find really helpful. Thank you. Oh, I'm glad you enjoyed it. You're welcome, sweetie. Let me just see last one before we finish. When I stretch my feet under the couch, I feel stretch in my Achilles. Is it normal? No, be careful with Achilles. I don't think it's no, It's good. Try to do the stretch I showed you with the, with the TheraBand wrapped and over the block. You shouldn't really, it shouldn't hurt too much in your Achilles. It means that the bones, it means that something is pinching there. Be careful. I have to finish. I wish I could tell you more useful tips, but definitely we're gonna meet in the future. Follow, follow Grishko, share, 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 share this post, share with your friends. And I hope to see you very soon, either on a Grishko World, on or at our school, NK Ballet School, or at the online Ballet Academy. Big keys, stay healthy, stay positive, stay happy, work hard. No, work smart, more important, work smart. Bye, dancers. Bye, bye, bye. I hope you enjoyed it. You're welcome. Thanks from Brazil. You're welcome from London. Bye, Brazil. Bye, 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 everyone. <laughs> Bye-bye, hope to see you soon again too. 
by dancers carry on carry on dancing whatever conditions are even if you are there is no student even if you have to train in your bathroom train in the bathroom just be careful with the slippery floor make sure the surroundings are are safe for you to train otherwise never stop never stop bye 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 from spain <laughs> bye spain bye italy bye canada bye bye georgia bye indonesia bye 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 so nice so nice such a pleasure meeting you all bye 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 bye